local ministers once asked me to sign a protest about the BNP. And I said to them, OK, I don't agree with BNP. They're a nasty bunch of people. But what are you saying to answer the needs of the people who are turning to them because there's nowhere else to go? The silence of the other politicians is feeding extremism. And we've got to stop extremism, we've got to stand up for these values and not be quietened and frightened and fearful. And I've been called a racist, I've been called an anti-Semite, I've been called anti-Islam, I've been called everything. But I'm going to go ahead with this, and I hope you'll support me. It needs to be done. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Lee and the rest of Robert and Sonia may give you live beside or next door, closer to you. But I'm very, very close to your heart when you hear my story. I came to Firstly, in composition of my constancy, I present you all, I can say. I'm a from Christian mother and a Jew father, and I studied and brought up in Islamic area, and brought up and educated and released out of prison by English gentlemen, by English family in Stratford upon Avon. So I have a bit of all of you, I can say, and I speak several languages. That's why I dare to say, I'm very close to your heart. Secondly, I'm sure you know uh, Sylvia Pankhurst, most of elderly sisters, mothers. You know Sylvia Pankhurst? <laughs> Sylvia Pankhurst is our hero. Not only in Woodford, also hero in Ethiopia, where I come from. <coughs> she worked, she died, and buried in Ethiopia. And I'm going to pay in kind the British people at large, and particularly to Ilford North, thinking of what the good things she has done to my land and to my English family. That's why I dare say I'm very close to you, spiritually, in religious wise, and even in commitment. On this ground, I want to come to our party. The party I joined is not because of my liberal family. It's because of its beliefs. Its beliefs are so broad. It accepts anyone with any creed, with any religion, with any philosophy, from left extreme from to the right extreme. One. So any religion, any creed, Muslim, Christian, non-believers, <coughs> is accomplished. The whole Western civilization is based on liberal thinking. I don't want to sound lecturing, but I want to remind my brothers and sisters the whole civilization which we are standing for was both a liberal thinking. Its self-labor was part of Libden until 1924. This broad thinking, this broad philosophy brought me to join and to serve. With this thinking, even before reading liberal manifestos and uh, ideologies, I was fighting for liberal thinking in my country and I was incarcerated for five years. That's why I have some parallel with Sylvia Pankras, I always assess it, and I feel obliged to pay in kind to Ilfag North people. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll come back in a minute. <laughs> and last week to Sonia. <coughs> Hi, my name is Sonia Klein, I'm the Labour PPC for Elford North. Thank you all for coming today, it's wonderful to see so many of you here and taking an interest, especially when you're missing the very important parliamentary uh, uh, PM debate tonight. This is now our fourth hustings this week, and I can tell you all the jokes, the one-liners, the attacks, everything that's going to be said tonight. So, rather than draw it out over the uh, evening, I just want to get it over and done with. Alex will tell you that the Lib Dems are the party of peace and purity as far as expenses will go. You'll be hearing I agree with Alex by me a few times, because frankly I do agree with Lib Dems on many issues. 
Leave will tell his usual BNP rally cry and tell you that my policy positions are not Labour's policy positions and also take great pains to tell you about his Labour roots. Let's tackle all these up front so we can talk about policy. I regard this as a job interview. After 23 years of professional experience, I've had many, but I've never fought so hard for a pay cut before. I want to make a difference, Niels of North, not just become a figurehead. My ambitions for the region are great, they're vast. From local economic development, new job creation, safer streets, the best state education in the country, and a youth population which is inspired to be good citizens and support their communities. All of this is possible with some vision. Now Lee says I can't make a difference. I am making a difference. I've been helping people of Ilford North since day one of being, becoming a candidate. I believe in action, not words. Lee will tell you that my party won't change. But many of the old timers are stepping down now. There's a new generation of Labour MPs about to take, seize the party back. During my interview, I was asked if I would vote with the whip. I said then, and maintain now, that I would always vote my conscience and represent my constituents. That's on my records at the Labour Party. The Labour Party respects my views, and it's my duty to present my case and change policy from within. What Lee won't tell you is that he's a member of a right-wing conservative group called Cornerstone which admires George Bush and Sarah Palin. Says the NHS is Stalinist and must be closed down. So it's interesting to hear his views on the NHS here. They're anti-Europe. In fact, they've been described by other MPs in Parliament as having Taliban tendencies. So since Lee votes in lockstep with these, um, this crowd, will he really represent your views in Parliament? Labour has not always got it right, but we put people at the heart of our policy. We don't rely on the market to solve all our problems. The market is just a tool for us to use to better our living standards. It cannot dictate our value systems. Now, you hear, you've just heard about how awful it is um, that the NHS bureaucrats are earning so much money. But the Tories are perfectly okay with the private sector levels of income and the bonuses. So, is there a different rule for the private sector and the public sector? You can incentivize the private sector, but the public sector shouldn't deserve the same? It's a confusing set of values. I believe in Labour's core principles of social justice and equality. I believe Labour is the party of the people, of all people, of all socio-economic backgrounds. And I believe Labour will lead the country through the next industrial revolution as we did with the G20 and the financial crisis. I've been across... Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that many of the points that you wanted to bring up after will probably command the questions. Has anybody got? A question to kick off. Yes, sir. We're going to bring a lecture in gently. Um, I'm Alan Yeoman, Chair of the Fellowship of Churches, so it's good to see you all on the platform. Can you tell us what attracted you to stand as a prospective member of Parliament for Ilford North? Anybody like to answer that one first? What attracted you to become or to stand to be an MP? In a democratic institution, in a democratic country like Britain, if you want to get your opinion across, I mean, there's the media, but if you are a Christian, the BBC is fundamentally uh, anti-Christian. It's been proved in uh, independent uh, um, appraisals of it. It's not only fundamentally anti-Christian, it's vehemently anti-evangelical. Uh, recently, on uh, a question time, and in, in the answers, uh, any questions and any answers, uh, uh, John Dimwood did ask, what is an evangelical? And then he offered a, a, a definition. It's, it's, a, it's a Christian that wants to spread the gospel, wants to preach the gospel. Well, isn't that what every Christian is? And so any Christian uh, is now demonised. So I'm standing for Parliament to, to stand up and say, ouch, as a Christian, and hope that people will respond. The greatest honour anyone can have is to be a member of Parliament. With everything that's gone on, I still believe that. To be a member of Parliament from where you're born and bred is even more special. To know the areas, to know the problems, and to make a difference. And when I have constituents come to me, and I have people in the audience tonight who work with me at my constituency surgeries and see some of the tragic cases that people come in with, and be able to make a difference and help them, is why I'm standing for Parliament for a second, or a third time actually, uh, but a second time in my home constituency. I do feel, with the Chairman's 
permission, I do need to just answer one point. The cornerstone group is Diamond Club, which is a Christian Jewish group holding up moral values. Um, I think you got it wrong, it's not Sarah Palin, it's actually Michael Palin, I'm quite fond of. No, it's actually Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you don't get so excited. I did. Um, and basically,